What's up guys and welcome back to another single camera episode of Positive Vibes. I'm your fucking fat fucking super deluxe host, not Slim One. What do you think is uh, attributes that I have that make me exactly super deluxe? You're fat. <laughs> Join with me this week as the Iceman. <laughs> Clap some hands. Dog barks. <laughs> Hello. On, on cue. I tried to make the dog give me kisses the other day and he just, he like... He turned his nose away, and he, like, put his face on my lips. He wouldn't actually lick my lips. Uh, fuck you, Gizmo. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't no whore. Hey, fuck you. Give me kisses. Little <laughs> 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 oh, fucker. Also, this week on the show, we're joined with Roach Bond. What's up, bud? What's going on? <laughs> Where did he introduce you? Lay down. You know what is interesting yeah. about the concept of the dog <laughs> parking... Oh. The interesting thing about the concept of the dog barking right now is, no jokes, the, sh the dog's pitch is so shrill it is. that it bites down on the camera yeah. microphone, and then the microphone adjusts the audio accordingly. Does it really? <laughs> yeah. So, oh, like, shit. right after the dog barked, it's, it's settled now, but right after the dog barked, fucked. it just turns it down. Because yeah. everything's getting loud. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And that, that happened uh, last, uh, on that gathering video I was telling you about. When I shot that positive vibes at the gathering of the Juggalos, and I had the three homies sitting on the couch here like this, Cody was sitting in the middle, and every time he would stand up to reach across the table to get a joint. Oh, the oh we light. didn't do any joint stuff for the show. Oh, shit. No, I totally no. forgot. Me too. Fuck. I forgot to do joint stuff for the show before the show, so I guess we're not smoking. It's all in the house, and I'm not... Resetting the camera. So it's a smokeless episode of Positive Vibes. I'll drink some water. We'll instead. still keep it positive, though. Positively smokeless. Um, what was I saying a moment ago? You were talking about the light. Oh, the light and how, yeah, the camera, the 700 auto just. Here's two things about the 700 that uh, I'm not bitching. I just, I'm not sure if I like them or not. One is, I haven't been, I haven't even touched my gathering footage yet, but a lot of times, zooming in and out, I could feel like a buzzing. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm wondering if that, if the buzzing just happens and it's fine, fine. But if that buzzing translates into microphone yeah, noise. Yeah, no, that's no good. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to. But then how often do we actually zoom the camera? That's true, and I did make the uh, the decision to film like at least ninety percent of the gathering footage on the seven hundred. Did you? Because yeah. they bought it. Yeah. You know, the viewers helped me buy it. Might as well use it. And that's what you know. But one thing that's interesting also about the gathering video is all the homies. Like I'm not, again, not talking shit, but like Rick and Jeff, mainly I guess they never. They never... Well, I guess you wanted to go the tattoo thing. You are going to take yeah, the camera to the tattoo thing. Paint. What I'm saying is nobody else picked up the second camera. Oh, no. I don't know. Went. It wasn't necessarily like uh, not wanting to. It was more of a... I'm going out. This isn't like... I don't own this. So I don't want to break it if like fucking some shit happens. Right. Because yeah, it's the enough. gathering. Yeah. Right? And well, like, shit, I, want, a lot of I shit do want to get my too. own... Like, I do really want to get my own camera to do shit like that with. Maybe I'll just go up and get, like, a GoPro or something. Buy a GoPro. Yeah. I was thinking about it to start off with the first camera as a GoPro. It's expensive, and it's not as... There's other better cameras for a cheaper price. Yeah. Yeah. But you can get, like, other better... Or, like, other camera GoPros for cheaper, too. You can, but... When I was looking into them, they weren't really worth it. You can get the Asian ones. You can get the Asian GoPros and shit. But they're just not built tough, though. Like, the, the actual GoPro is built to withstand a lot of shit. Yeah, I don't fuck with uh, GoPros. But that's just know. it. Like, the GoPro is built for specific reasons. It's not built for something like this. Yeah. Yeah. See, that would be... The GoPro would be good for the festival, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Because then you can just go around with a GoPro on your head, meeting people and everything, and, you know, it'll be all 
you know, uh, what do they call that, uh, point first, of view. First person view, yeah. I got some GoPro footage from the Killer Clown Academy I've that I have that. to cut into, That's uh, so cool. I have to cut it into the shit that Ross had, so I got a big, big job ahead of me tomorrow. Talking about Ross, I hope he puts our video out this week. Well, finally, I broke down and sent him the videos. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> we, I tried to I offer him the video. Take it home. Yeah, yeah I he and he couldn't, so I, we transferred him the, the Juggle yeah, Interview Foods. That makes sense now why he put out that other one, because I was, I was a little bummed when I saw it. I that. felt bad that he's like, oh, I'm just waiting for my friend, not Slim One, to send me the footage. like, put me on blast <laughs> online, Ross, you fucking dick. <laughs> yeah. But I did end up sending him all the footage. Good. I sent him... The show we made for him and all the videos that uh, we shot together so that he could make his show. Yeah, we got one, uh, what, uh, did the one for him, right? We're dominating Juggalo's Review Foods this month. Yeah. Hell yeah. And there is actually uh, going to be a awesome. full month of uh, Juggalo's Review Foods. It's going to be cool. <laughs> you just can't stop trying, can you? He hates me. Maybe kisses? Oh, not even me, huh? Jerk. <laughs> He's like, fuck. Just leave me These alone. two are just trying to make out with a dog over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Maybe dog's some... gonna fucking bite my face one day. <laughs> Probably. So he bites my nose know. once in a while. Uh, oh, fuck. The gathering, man. Yeah. The gathering. Yeah. Man. I can't wait for next year's. Can't believe Colorado's it's far, man. Yeah, that's a long ways away. Colorado is fucking far yeah. man I, oh dude like before it even like i'm saving up for it already you know like i, I want to get prepared for it uh i got some money to spend too though like crazy to prepare for it sucks you know fucking i want to get my license and shit at least have my g1 because like you said if i have my g1 probably learn how to drive can, i don't fucking think you truck. can drive with me though right not yet no you need a full g you know, really? Yeah. You, you got to get your G two, bro, before next year. I can probably do that. Like, like if it's still what they say, right? You if you can. go to school. Well, yeah. I guess if you take the course, you can that's take what the I course, said. right? <laughs> I ain't paying that money. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you take the course, it's eight, it's eight months eight. instead of twelve, right? Yeah. That's still what they say. Yeah. Yeah. See, so yeah, like I know somebody who has the course, so like I can get a discount price on it and fucking all right, be we all gotta set. move, baby. But I also want to get I need you to some, get your G2 so that you can help me drive. I also want to get some fucking tattoo work done for the next tattoo contest. Fuck that shit. Hell no, man. I ain't fucking that shit. I got an, a sweet idea to fucking add on to my arm. Fucking Did you see that fat idea. guy with the blue panties? Yeah, the one who took off his pants and everything and had all the tattoos. Yeah, yeah. it looked good. You won. That was pretty dope. Did you get footage of the winner and everything? A or little no? bit, yeah. 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 Uh, so I'm not, I'm not vlogging at all this weekend. We're Saturday at around like seven or eight o'clock at night and I fucking, I picked up the camera once for a stupid thing that doesn't even make any sense. No, not really. And that's it. So that's my motivator to <laughs> get my fucking gathering video out on Monday. I don't have any fucking footage. You, you better get that fucking idea. gathering video out, man. I so want it. I so want to see it. Like Monday, Monday. We're Saturday now. It'll come out on Monday. This is on Wednesday, so the video's already been out. Did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking awesome, bud. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Remember when you yelled out Team Turn Up on the stage? Fuck yeah. Hell man. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I can't wait till. How long do you think it's going to be? Oh, fuck, dude. I got to tell you, last year's gathering video was like two what? hours. Yeah, it was like two hours. This one, I don't know. You don't know? If it, uh, if it's, it, if it, it runs longer than. I don't know, man. Are you I, gonna, I can't even say. I can't even say. Yeah, you're going to put a I got, I got a lot of my footage. Yeah. I got a lot of the footage that Ross got of me, which I guess is still my footage. I've got footage from Ross's camera. Andy sent me a bunch of footage. Really? I've got the footage from Scotty D from Fago Lovers from the Clown Academy that I've got to go over. Shit. So I've got a lot of fucking videos from a lot of different you have a people. A lot of work ahead of you. I've been looking yeah, all for Sunday, man. Like tomorrow, too. I just have to sit down and do it. I can't make any excuses. 
Yeah, I've been looking for a lot of pictures, too. I haven't seen them yet. I've seen a couple of pictures, but also I don't remember my picture getting taken a lot. I started seeing a lot of videos of green jelly surfacing online. Yeah. Did you go to it? I went to it for a bit and then fucking dipped out, yeah. Yeah, you sucked. That was the best show at the Anything? gathering. Yeah. yeah, I definitely would have checked out green jelly. I did. Yeah. It was fucking dope. Well, I'm going to try to put an extended cut God. into the show. I swear they sang the same three songs over and over yeah, and over. they did. It was <laughs> awesome. That's all they did. Awesome. Three songs. The the whole were you there when he sang Puff the Magic Dragon? Uh, I don't think so. Well, you missed out on the fourth song. <laughs> hey, give me kisses. He's like, no, I'm come just going to over here. Come here. <laughs> oh, I fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's killing you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Wizard of the Hood was definitely the best stage show. I don't know, man. Like, it was an amazing show. I ain't fronting. Those big screens were cool, but uh, I'm saying, I'm just saying this, okay? I don't know. Hey, listen, I'm keeping it real, as real as I can right now, and all I'm saying is this. Wizard of the Hood, obviously it was fucking amazing. However, it was the biggest hyped show yeah. on the fucking main stage, yeah. and the majority of that show's visuals were screens. Yeah. And at the Green Jelly Show, in the Pendulum stage... It was all... That packed. fucking stage was packed full of people. That tent was packed full of people. Yeah. And it was a fucking good, great, amazing, fucking dope show. It was. It definitely was. Wasn't that it's the same It's two completely too? different shows. I can't oh, no, even... That was the you first can't one. even compare Wizard of the Hood... All right, well, to compare two to shows Green that Jelly fucking... Show. I can compare to one show, and that was the fucking Guar show. And that Guar show, you cannot tell me that didn't kick ass. I yeah, love that Guar was good show. too. They put on one. I hell guess of I'm a favoring the Green show. Jelly show because it was so small in the Pendulum stage. I could It was so intimate. That. There were so good. many people there. It was very Everybody good. was on the same page. Yeah. There was a lot of audience participation. Well, even freaking Guar was him. just a show to watch. Just like Wizard of the Hood was an amazing show, but it was just a show to watch. Yeah. The participation factor to me really fucking killed that green jelly set. Yeah. It was the best. Yeah. Um, I got to actually go, I went and ran, ran down for Hobson and uh, it was pretty cool. He pulled out like a fucking homie on stage and everything to rap with him on like uh, one of the songs and then fucking pretty much told him to jump off the stage and they brought out this like air mattress for this guy to jump oh, on. Shit. It was so funny. Fucking, and then you see Hobson, Hobson fucking crowd surf and shit. It was dope, man. Like, Hobson was, like, right there, too, for me. I was like, wow. I don't know. I like Hobson. He's a good fucking rapper. That whole shit with Funk Volume was fucking fucked up, though. Is, is it done now? Oh, yeah. It's legit done, eh? Yeah. He uh, started a new company and everything. It's weird. Yeah. I still support, though. I wish he had merch. I didn't see any merch for him. No, did you see Boondocks merch in both the Twisted Tent and the Psychopathic Tent? Yeah, and apparently he had his own tent too. Holy oh, shit. Like, I seen, I didn't see his tent actually I set didn't see up. Like that. But I seen a sign, like, in the Merchant Alley. They had these signs put up on the tents that were further down, right? Of what bands were going to be there. And Boondocks had one, so I don't know if he actually set it up or not. Or if he just said, fuck it, I'll have m &E and fucking Psychopathic sell my merch. Probably didn't even get paid for it, though. Because, like, fucking, if m &E brought him on tour, probably paid for all his merch and shit, like, to make it. I don't know how that shit works. Yeah, neither do I. Nor do I really care. It's all business shit. Fucking, I'm just about the music, you know? Not yeah? What do you fuck think their... about Blase Rose game? Oh, my God. <laughs> don't even get me started on her, man. Well, like, we're on a talk show. Talk about it's it. It's true. Um, like... I don't know, I went on her Facebook page just to see what people were saying and to see if anybody was like really blowing her up or anything and fucking, you know, she had props and fucking people saying you're garbage, like more, I, I think I see more garbage than props though, you know, Open your it's up. fucking, I, I, she's not my, Okay. Sometime. sorry, go ahead, she's not my cup of tea i guess you could say because she's just really emotional yeah here's the thing okay then about it that i feel so jay put out that hatchet herald one negative vibes he didn't say anything 
in the latest edition of the Hatchet Herald about the gathering. Nothing. Not a thanks for coming. Nothing like that at all. Which I thought was kind of odd. Yeah. And then the whole fucking thing was about Blase Rose and, fucking and her history and clearing being up some on his shit. dick and shit like that. Yeah, he's like, oh, I met her and we weren't banging and then <coughs> we started banging. Yeah. And it's like, whatever. And he was like fucking all offended of uh, uh, people blasting and saying, oh, just because she got a record deal is because she's on my dick. Like that's yeah, true. but the thing about the thing about Blase Rose is this, okay? Whether you like it or whether you hate it, at the top of that Hatchet Herald, and and even I heard again when we were fucking transferring music to my truck today, and you were watching the seminar video. Yeah. They just say this is a new project by Psychopathic. Yeah. And what is Psychopathic Records known best for? Not revealing identities of people. I mean, Becky got identified immediately. Yeah, but, but she used her own name in one of her songs. Yeah, I guess like you're right. Like title track, you know. But here's what I'm saying. They they said in the seminar that it's a project, and then in the Hatchet Herald, I can't remember verbatim now, okay, but I do remember that they said in so many words that they are manufacturing something. So this, as soon as you say that you're manu you're going to manufacture something... Everything after that is questionable. Yeah. It, you know. I'm not saying that Joe Bruce is telling the truth or not telling the truth in the Hatchet Herald or that I believe what he says or what I don't believe or that I don't believe what he says. All I'm saying is that if you're a record company and you're saying that you are manufacturing a project, anything that you say after that can be whatever in accordance to the product that you're manufacturing. Okay. Setting up a fucking scenario. Okay, okay. Maybe she fucking... Maybe she did live in a shitty apartment in Maine with a blanket dividing the fucking house in two. You know yeah, what I mean? Whatever. Maybe she did that. It's not... That's not... When I read that, I'm like, oh, I've seen that shit before. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Of course. Yeah. But whether it's true or whether it's not true or whether I believe it or whether I don't believe it is in vain to my logical side. Okay. All I'm saying is they manufacture it. So they can say... Whatever they want. They're making a story to sell a product. Yeah, yeah. But, like, uh, I, all right. So, for the other day, right, I was watching the uh, Bacon Brunch, right? Okay. Fucking Mono's Bacon Brunch, where he gets baked oh, right, on right. fucking Facebook. And he said, fucking, like, he was listening to Gmo Ski, right? And he says, they want to blow up these motherfuckers and make them, like, world famous. Okay. Right? That's all they're trying to do is, like, because, you know, they're the legend, and now they're fucking carrying these artists and blowing them the fuck up to make them underground legends. Right. Right? Why can't Violent J say that about his artists? Well, because he's getting old, I guess, and he just... Yeah, but is he missing it? Like, fucking, don't you want to blow up your artists and try to make them fucking underground famous? That's what no. they're doing with Blase Bullshit, Rose. they're fucking sitting on a bunch of... They're sitting on a roster right now of a bunch of fucking, like, people who open for bands. Blase Rose. Blase Rose, Young fucking Wicked. Big Hoodoo, Young Hoodoo. Wicked. Well, Young, you don't see, Young you Wicked... You don't see any of those people as headliners? I see Young Wicked as a headliner. What about Axe Murder Boys? No. What about the Have Nots? No. What about the super group of Big Hoodoo, uh, Bones <laughs> Dub, and and Anybody Killer, the Have Nots, headlining? I, Did you see that performance with me at Big Ballas? No. I, I only ever Ballas. seen them perform once at Big Ballas. I got some footage. Find my Big Ballas video, one of them. Probably this year's video, 2015. Yeah, it, was, it would have to be this year. Find the 2015 Big Ballas video, and there's definitely a little bit of clips. Nuts, What's really? that? This is 2016. Right, but uh, we haven't had a Christmas yet okay, this year. Good point, yeah. yeah. So the have nots is fucking. Big Hoodoo, Big Hoodoo Bones, Bones, and, and ABK. ABK, okay. I've never seen no merch. I seen, uh, have, I seen, do, do I seen Big this? Hoodoo on stage wearing a fucking. Puffy jacket with a big have nots patch on the back. Really? Yeah. Wow. So no, now maybe because it's like so a rare to me. Though. <laughs> oh, they're I was not. Just making a joke. They're not. They're <laughs> not, man. I mean, I'm serious. And nobody will ever be a headliner over ICP on Psychopathic. Yeah, but that's why they do that. That's why Twisted. 
Yeah, I understand that, but they don't have anybody like Twisted to like be a headliner on another tour to make money off of. Blaze is a headliner. That's Twisted. That's M and E. Okay. I'm saying Psychopathic roster has not does not have that. Killjoy Club. That's ICP though. It is. Lotus, that's not a headliner. That's not a head. Well, it could be a headliner, but Jail never juggalos, fucking do it. For Juggalos, I guess. You're doing a good job of proving this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I get. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, I don't know. Maybe I missed your point, but psych in psycho under psychopathic records has label, the fucking, ICP will always be the headliner. I understand that, but I'm saying M and E has a better business model. Well, you know, where way do they better get it? business. Where did they model. get it? Not from fucking psychopathic. They they been <laughs> under psychopathic for fucking twenty. I fucking know. Years. And yeah, fucking psychopathic fucking destroyed no, them. Really psychopathic. What about all their fucking left. merch game? What about M and E's merch game? M and E's merch game is ten times better than psychopathic. Everything's like fucking ten T shirts, limited edition, one day only. Yeah, I, under, soda I, pop now. I understand that, but fucking the way they set their tents up at the fucking gathering versus like psychopathic right their tent was only set up for two days it was exclusive as fuck because right? that's how they have it now that I, when i understand when that. twisted wasn't on when twisted was on psychopathic their shit i was, bet you it was fucking exclusive it was as fuck. psychopathic records fucking merch tent yeah but there was no two-day fucking twisted tent when twisted was on psychopathic i know and the only reason why it was a two-day twisted tent was because they were only there for fucking two days. Mm -hmm. You know, they only played those two days. They didn't play the Saturday with anybody. There was no fucking Lotus. There was no Riders on fucking Saturday. Right. Right? So fucking, of course, they're only going to be open for two days. The, what they were selling... What are we even talking about right now? I don't know. Like, I, I'm, we're just talking about the gathering, I guess. But fucking, we're talk, we're not, we haven't said anything about the gathering except for Twisted's merch tent there in the last. I'm just five saying, minutes. Twisted's business model and everything <coughs> Emily is doing is fucking ten times better. Like, much respect to fucking Psychopathic and for bringing them up and everything, but Emily's gonna blow past them and they're gonna be the new Psychopathic. That's a pretty bold statement. I know it's a pretty bold statement, but it's gonna happen. And it's going to be the gathering of the jugglers, and ICP's going to put it on every single year. But watch that one year that they're going to fuck up and not put Twisted on the bill. That won't, I don't know, I don't think that's going to happen. You don't think it'll ever come to that? Did you see Dude, the way... Juggalos it, would fucking revolt okay, so fucking I, bad if I Twisted know wasn't at the gathering. I know that, but did you see the way Jay called him out for fucking the march? Yeah, but he, I guess he did that for everybody, though. He didn't just, just single them out. Yeah, I know. He didn't single them out, but still. So he, now what? It's going to be a Blaze, Twisted, he even called ROC, him, Tech but, 9. Okay, here's another thing. He called them out for the Canada fucking Juggalo Day, too. What did he say? He said that they were going to be there. That Twisted is going to fucking be at, like, Twisted's supposed to show up at every single Juggalo Day now. From now on, pretty much. That's what he said at the seminar. You know, Juggalo Day in Florida. Yeah, Twisted's I want to go to that there. so bad, but I can't afford it, man. No, it's I have too, too much debt, and I want to buy a golf cart so bad. And if if I was gonna go to the Florida for the Juggalo Day, I'd fly. I'd straight up fly. Then you gotta buy a ticket and get a hotel and yeah. pay a fucking Uber every time you want to go downtown. So what? You're only gonna go downtown, dude? For fucking what, do you, what do you mean? Twit? So what? I'm poor as fuck. I, I don't know. I, I might go. If I if pay for my if shit, it's that way. If it's like, are you gonna go do the march on Washington? Hell no. Hell no. Yeah. I'm not fucking. I'm Canadian. Right? Yeah, I feel for my homies in the exactly. states. Exactly. I feel that for them, but doesn't affect me. So yeah, I'm Canadian. I don't think I'm gonna be flying to Washington D.C. But it sounds dope. Yeah, I'm liking that they're doing more things with Canada. Like, they want to have a Canadian job. If you're watching this video and you went to an Insane Clown Posse fucking concert in Canada in the in, the, in June, right? May and June? June yeah, at June, least? June, June, July. And you bought a fucking Canadian tour t-shirt. I need it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave Large. a comment in the comment section of this video. I'm looking personally myself for a 2XL. I'm looking and for a And if I get my hands on two of them, I'll gift one. If I get my hands on three of them... 
collect one, gift one, and fucking wear one. I need that shit. Yeah, me too. I want a large. Large. You know, L. 2XL. Large. <laughs> I'll take cash. <laughs> what are you doing? He thought I was getting up. Come on. Come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> he was waiting for me to pick him up. Oh, shithead. He's done. Because his brain is small. Yes. It's very small. Look at his head. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking warm in here, bud. It is getting yeah, kind of warm coma. in here. What time does it say on that thing? I don't know. I Twenty something. Focus. What does it say? A little body. <sighs> I can't even see it. Uh, yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty oh eight. Twenty. It's only been twenty, 20 minutes. Eight minutes. I really What's up? Not a whole lot, bud. You want to get the hell out of here? Or? No, it's just I'm in a food coma. I'm dying over here. What did you eat? We went to B Dubs tonight. B-dubs. Oh yeah. I wouldn't be so bad if the waitress didn't fucking bring up dessert and tell me to get this banana cheesecake, so I had to have that too. <laughs> now I do. That sounds like, here, let me rub all this cream in between all these wings real quick in my stomach. Yeah, I'm pretty so much. Full. <laughs> I'm so full. That's pretty much what it comes down to. I haven't been to B-dubs in Canada, I don't think, ever. No. Andy it's loves only, Buffalo Wild Wings. the only one I've ever Did been to one in Windsor. I went with Andy once. Uh, me and my friend went with Andy to... Uh, B-dubs in the it's states. Good, it was yeah. me and Andy and They're a good fucking Melissa restaurant. and Steven. I really like them. I don't like pickles. I hate pickles. I don't like deep fried pickles that they sell around. Deep here. fried pickles are the stupidest thing I ever fucking heard. No, of. no. B-dubs, deep fried pickles are fucking delicious. I love them. I don't need a deep fried pickle. That sounds like the dumbest shit. Well, it's the only way to eat a pickle. No, no, man. it really you is. Like deep fried it's the pickles. Only way to eat a pickle no, they're not with their bad. sauce. They're Bring me a plate of deep fried pickles and a bowl of deep fried mushrooms. <laughs> I like it. That sounds yeah. fucking horrible. Delicious. That just sounds fucking A, a deep fried mushroom is disgusting, man. All a deep fried mushroom is is a fucking battered sack of grease. Is it? I've never tried one before. You've never so had a no. deep fried mushroom? No. no. Are you fucking <laughs> serious? Are you serious? Are you We're going to have a deep fried mushroom serious? eating contest on Oh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding? He's oh, gonna shit. kill you. Yeah, He's gonna no kill shit. me probably. It's yeah. gonna fucking just deteriorate your guts and make you shit water. That's all right. I'll eat it up. They're hot. Imagine popping a hot fucking, <laughs> and then you bite in it, and it fucking jizzes against the side of your cheek. A big fucking splosh of oil. I used to make. It's just them. oil that has soaked into a porous mushroom Sounds and been good. encapsulated by. I like oil. Do- <laughs> I used to make them. At uh, Outback. I haven't eaten Doing deep fried onions. Never yeah. ate at Outback. I always wanted to try their blooming onion. Oh, they're so good. When I worked there, I used to make them all the time. For yeah. Them. I worked there weekends and made the blooming onions. It was dope. They're hard to make, man. I don't give a shit what anybody says. <laughs> fucking, I fucked up so many blooming onions. Did I you? can't even fucking count. I'd have like eight in a night fucked up. Holy <laughs> fuck. And that's not because you were stoned when you went to work. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the truth comes out. <laughs> no, they were pretty easy to make. I don't know. You just had to like get open them up. That you just make sure you open them up and powder them and throw them in the deep fryer. It's fun. Yeah, I've always wanted to try it. Cutting an onion and now there's no more out back in Windsor, so I can't. No. Fuck it. Make your Fuck own. it. Uh, yeah, you could work. go buy your uh, own blooming onion it's, machine. It's work. It is work. Yeah. Come here, dog. For one fucking <laughs> onion. <laughs> Poor Gizmo. So scared of him. Um. So the camper took the damage, and I've been so busy with work and just excuses that I simply just haven't found time to call. I got my phone turned off, and I just haven't found any time to, like, go over to my mom's place to use her phone to make some phone calls to get quotes for the camper. But last week, you know, I fucking called a bunch of people. Nobody said that they could help. And then, uh, you know, through email. A lot of emails. I, I think I talked about that on the last Positive Vibes. So in the week that since these two shows have been aired, I have done nothing about it. But another fucking person contacted me back and they said in an email, basically, the money that it would cost to fix your camper exceeds the value of the camper. 
and to go through your insurance company, but you have no insurance. They, yeah, the guy gave me the advice of going through my insurance company, but like Iceman just said, I don't, I never, I chose not to insure the camper. Yeah. And then I got fucking hit stationary in the driveway instead of getting blasted by Mind a semi truck on the highway. You do have homeowner's insurance, right? Do you have any kind of insurance like that on the police? Yeah, but it, I think it's all in my mom's name. Uh, well, it should still cover anything on the property. I'll have to look into yeah, it a little deeper. Could. But I mean, regardless, I would prefer, if I were you, I would prefer getting the money from WD, from the company. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, then you can do what you want. I mean, okay, if you get a quote, and they're, they're going to obviously quote you a large amount. W, I keep trying to say the name. Yeah. The company will probably say, no, that's that's way too much. So you, you, you're going to end up having to haggle with them and just taking a settlement. And then you're going to have cash to do what you want. To the camper? To do what you want. I want, I like this camper. I like its fucking makeup. Like I you like can still how use functions. the camper. It's still a, it's But still what if they write it off and then give me the value of the camper? Because they can't fix the camper. Do I just say, okay? Well, they... That's where I'm at. I still yeah, haven't they got can't, quotes. They can't write it off. Like, they're not going through insurance either. They're just going to pay you out. They want to pay you a settlement. That's all they want to do. Well, how do we... When nobody... Uh, we're still in the same position. So you get the quotes. The quotes are going to be high. You're going to go to the company and say, these are the quotes I got. They're going to say, well, we're not giving you that much. And you're going to say, okay, well then, how about we compromise a little bit. And then you take what you can out of them. The camper's still perfectly useful. Use that money to, to buy the Eterna Bond or whatever we need to buy. And just deal with the blemish? And deal with the blemish. I gotta figure out, I gotta determine how much that well, you, money is You're never is gonna worth. get the, the blemishes fixed, basically. Right. That's where we're at. You'll never get those fixed. Not right. properly. But then also, another option could be writing off this camper, buying, but getting money to buy But you can't write off the camper because there's no insurance to write it off on. They go through their insurance. But they're not going through their insurance. They want to give you money. Right. They want to settle out of insurance. Yeah. yeah. Right. But can't... I'm not saying I want to, but isn't there, like, something where I force that? I don't... I don't think so. I don't know. Not unless you have insurance. Yeah. Is it? Is it kind of like... Not like a flexing nuts thing, or like... But is, I, I is the like leverage it's... now... Is, is the leverage, in so many words... You got to give me some money that is satisfactory to me here, or you're going to have to go through insurance to fucking write off my camper to give me money so I can get it. They will at that point tell you to take them to court. Right. Which is useless to you, because then you're paying money for court costs. And Fuck, man. They hit me. I'm a fucking victim. I fucking hate that shit. Yeah. <laughs> They're the fucking ones with the money. Squirrels! Sorry. I, <laughs> I thought I could make him jump. That's why I yelled it. Where's the squirrel puppy? Want to go see the squirrel? No. What about the bunny? Is there a bunny? Go see the bunny. I feel like a huge long hair. He's gone. <laughs> Did he go to kill a squirrel? Nah, he's he about to kill there. a bunny. Oh, he's like pissing. But there's no bunnies out there to kill. So. He's just smelling the grass now. Is he? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think probably once we start talking about the dog's behavior, it's about the end of the show. I think Is so, it? yeah. I think so do you have anything to say that you didn't get to say? Well, uh, I just want to like uh, plug some things here. Talk louder. I just want to plug some things here. Um, I just finished watching uh, Batman the Killing Joke. I saw you post that today. Yes, dude. Is, Is that an animated movie? Yes. Okay, I thought it must be. By far the best best animated movie I've ever seen yeah. come out of Batman. Like, it's 90s Batman with fucking uh, Mark Hamill as the Joker. Oh, shit. And Kevin, uh, oh, what's his last name? Uh, Kevin, could it be Kevin Conroy? I think so. Um, as uh, Batman, right? Anyways, this is the best fucking one ever. You know, it's like the history of the Joker and everything. Oh, right on. So, like, you get, like, these back history scenes in it, and it's got, like, a whole other story about Batgirl in the beginning of it. It's amazing, right? Uh, Do they have Bat Dick in the movie? No. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Bat Dick, man, that's fucking hilarious. But no, man, like, I watched it, loved it. It's based off the graphic novel and everything. It was, like, perfect. I can't wait for, like, because Mark Hamill, he's, uh... <laughs> 
just the best fucking <coughs> Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, By far, is. out of all all the Jokers ever played, I have to say, animated Joker, Mark Hamill. You know, he takes it. He does so much voice out. work, though. Thank you. Right. But uh, thanks. I also want to like uh, plug my buddy's uh, podcast called uh, the Bats, Bows, and Books podcast. You know, is he paying you for that? Cause I want no, some he's money, not even bitch. fucking paying. Oh, yeah. he, doesn't, he doesn't even know I'm plugging it right now. But Go check ahead. it out. It's the Bats, Bows. And books podcast. What's it about? It's uh. Bats, bows, and books. Yeah, it's like basically Batman. It's like Marvel and DC Comics and like uh, all your kind of like uh, nerd news, you know. All right, on. Comic cool. news. Yeah, it's funny. It's a guy I work with, you know. Uh, no, so. I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else to say? No, that's about it, man. When can, uh, where do you find that podcast? You just Google for it? Yeah, basically, you can find it off any freaking uh, podcast fucking thing, you know. A podcast finder. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was weird. Yeah. What about you? You got anything that, to say that you haven't said? I've got nothing, bud. You're just fucking quiet. We shot on Tuesday, and it's Saturday. Yeah. That's why, I, if I just go back to those RV camper quotes for a second. I didn't do anything on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, or Saturday afternoon. So for <laughs> you, you, you three and a half know. days, I did nothing, okay? You know what we could talk Since about? the last video. Is what? that email you got the other day? Okay, we'll mention that. We'll close on yeah, that. Yeah, we'll close then, on okay? that, yeah. So, uh, I'm not protecting anonymity. I just simply cannot remember the name right now. But a person sent me a fucking message on Facebook saying, Oh, we make a show... We make a science show in London, England, and we're going into the fourth season of it, and uh, we want to use your pineapple destruction challenge video, and I didn't fucking waste any time to reply, Not like when I missed time. the boat with Ellen, <laughs> so uh, the, that'll uh, be cool. That will be pretty cool. I hope that they, uh, they take the bite and they use our video. Yeah, we had a conversation about selling the video or not selling it or whatever. I gotta learn some new terminology. I've gotta learn some basic ethics of uh, business and uh, not be rude, but whatever. Like, obviously, if they're a television series, they're gonna have some money. They're not, not gonna. They're not just gonna ask me for, for all we a know, free we, clip for all so we know, that I could get a some exposure. Access show. We don't well, they the no, is. it's not no, it's not. I looked into it a little bit on yeah? there. Okay. Outrageous acts of science, I think, is the UK version tonight. of the show, and then there's an American version of the show. But this is the UK. I side think that's... they said they wanted to use the clip for the UK version, but it, you know, I really can't. So anyway, uh, that, and I'm just thinking to myself, if they even, if they even like. I don't know. I don't want to say what I think because if they're watching my videos and then they're going to be like, oh, that's what it'll take? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but whatever. This is what I'll say about it. If there is money involved where I do get the opportunity or we as the channel get the ability to receive money from a company for content that we've created. For use of it. We're not right. selling it. What I, yeah, what I want to do hopefully is be able to make some money from them Maybe li is license the video to them? I don't know the word. No, I gotta no. learn the right words. But anyway, what I want to do is let them use the video. They can make money off the video how they see deem fit. I don't want any of that. They can pay me up front for some of it for for the clip. Yeah. But also, I would like to retain the ability to leave the video monetized on my YouTube account and to collect any revenue that might come in from the views generated on, on my YouTube yeah. account. So you can use it, but which, I still want to sure get paid what they're looking for. I don't think they're looking to buy, because they're not going to use the whole video on their show. Yeah, for sure they can't. Like, there's just too much cussing in it. Yeah. But I'm sure the parts where we're eating, we're not cussing. Yeah. Or there's enough of it where we're not cussing. That yeah, they and they can edit it the way they see fit. And so that shit take, popped off. Take it out, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That shit popped off a couple days ago. I replied right away. Let's hope it fucking pans out, see what we can get out of it. Exposure-wise, at the very least. The money that we get from, if we get money from that, which I think is a certainty. I don't say it's a certainty. 
No, I don't either. <laughs> if I get a couple bucks, I'd like to buy a light for the camera, but also that thing. Yeah, the arm. Can we get those things next? I think we should. I think we should too. It'll help with nighttime shooting. Not that we ever do it. Get, we can't. <laughs> yeah, true, okay. Right? You got me. <laughs> you got me! <sighs> Alright, well then I guess that's it. Thanks for watching this episode of Positive Vibes. Stay tuned next Wednesday after 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for an all new episode of the show. Oh, announcement! We're hoping that now that the gathering is over, and even though we didn't talk too much, too too much about our experiences at the gathering, oh, it'll be fucking all year, all 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 year. It's the year the of the butthole, baby. To I told this guy, I was like, "How's your butt?" Gathering. I'm like, "How's your butt?" And he's like, "Why are you asking me that question?" I'm like, "It's the year of the butthole, baby. Doesn't just because end. the gathering's over doesn't mean that it fucking ends. It's a whole year. <laughs> it's not just fucking a couple weeks of your butthole." Oh, fuck. It's an entire year of but, your butthole. Dude, it's going to come up every single Positive Vibes. There's going to be some new story of the gathering, you know. It's well, going to come up. our experiences yeah, as time plays out. Yeah. All right. And, you know, and with going to the next years, it's never going to stop. It's just going to be experience after experience, story We're after just going to keep going story. to every gathering now. Fucking right. Sweet. The announcement that I didn't get to say, and then we'll end the show, is uh, next week, I'm hope we will. We will have a new episode of Positive Vibes next week after 10 p.m. And where will it be? In the fucking house. That's right. We're bringing Positive Vibes back inside now that the gathering's over. Back we're, to the studio. Yeah, we're done filming outside for a little bit. So I think it's time to... Maybe we'll consider shooting the show outside a little bit. Because not cleaning up vomit inside. <laughs> That's always pretty nice. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet, yeah. <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe we'll put that well, show. Well, back we in have the good weather, too. anyways, you yeah. know. But definitely, positive vibes is gonna start. We're gonna do a shorter show next week. Blah blah blah, because we're using three cameras, and it's the first time I'll be using three cameras. These two that we got, and and the shitty Canadian tire one. Yeah. Anyway, enough of all that. Uh, for a fucking tenth time, stay tuned for an all new episode of Positive Vibes next Wednesday after 10 p.m. I like what we do. And that's it. Ice Man? Hey. Roshman? <laughs> Fuck you. Get Peace. <laughs>